A please war really? Chat, please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Not how he died. I pulled those logs. What happened with Pathfinder? In the moment, it saved my life. But it seems my father meant for me to get the role, eventually. Please, it isn't hereditary. Chad. If we wanted an inbred monarchy, we could have left half our gene stock back home. <sighs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Love not please war. Yes, love not please war, Chad. Chris, because my brain is so big. I guess we'll just... I don't know. This? How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. Oh my god, Chef, really Chef? Remind me. Left Chef, a perfectly please. adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Idling. You called my father Alec. No one does that. Chad is extra today. joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends, or...? I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Or his friend. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Okay, what? This is the most cryptic thing I've ever heard. There must be some kind like, is that of a riddle? Should I write that possible? down and Aliens. decipher what, what she just said? We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder, not repeat it. Ah, oh, goddamn poetry. Gotcha, day, day, you gotcha. Oh my god, cardboard is in on this. Ghost of Ebonus, I see you guys. I see you guys. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The Scourge, Spoiled Worlds, Exiles, Hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The Initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. Go see your ship. Hey, don't rush me. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. What's up, coffee? Damn. All right. Well, well, she's uh rough around the edges. Trans technicians, please report to the Hyperion coupling annex. 
How do, okay, I'll, I'll look at my journal. Done. So lucky. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I love that. You know everyone can hear you, right? Yes. And you just don't care. Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Love it. This Loves is the planet it. where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought I didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. Yes. And when you disagree. I oversee <laughs> the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the golden worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable, so how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go... Yeah, is this like... And if I fail, I guess I it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Like, isn't it supposed to be that, like, the Solarians, like, the way that they talk, they're very concise and quick? Or was that just, like, a... I feel like that was not just a Morden thing, right? Because we, we did meet other Solarians. Like, is that not, like... I feel like, so far, the voice acting, like, it, they all just seem kind of human. Like, I don't know. Yes, it is him. Who, what? Oh. Kumail? I don't know who that is. Slarians only live for 40 years, so they talk very fast to not waste time. Most Slarians would be really fast. So, yeah, they're supposed to be quick talking and concise, right? That's that's a that is a a thing that I've noticed. So I'm um, I'm gonna pay attention to that 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 irks me though. What's up, Arcane Warrior? Uh, we've only played for about two hours so far. I, I so far so good. So far so good. Like th this is the only thing I've noticed is that uh, one one little tick is like the Salarians aren't are just talking like not talking the way they should. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. <sighs> Something wrong? Ryder, oh, my Casey, head. me, and Sam live on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No. Okay, we'll keep an eye out for other Slarians. But yeah, um, the like combat feels good, movement feels good, the story is interesting, the graphics are really nice, like the planets are gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far overall, good. Ryder, you have my condolences for your father. I appreciate it. I didn't know him very well, although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. 
I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find Hey, what's up, Helldumper? We have to. What's up, Bazooka? Tens of thousands of colonists P -B? are unaccounted for. It paints the really initiative arcane. in an unflattering light. Did you have some other business? If you're a fan of single-player RPGs, Arcane, I really strongly recommend you play the original trilogy. Um, they are fantastic. Like, we just finished playing them. Uh, we finished three yesterday, actually. Uh, and they're so good. Like, easily, that, that trilogy shot up in my top favorite games ever. Like, ugh. Like, just amazing, amazing, amazing. I can't even describe to you. Nice, DJ. That's good to hear. I'm glad everything's going well. Um... What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. Really, Mister? People you think like so? Roof okay. Over their heads, and you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the oh, cats did you, DJ? or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want Hey, those. thanks, Bazooka. I appreciate it. What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, oh, I it's love it when that happens. At the moment. You hey, what's up, Ricky? Yo, thank you for the one dollar. I'm back. What's up, Ricky? Welcome back. Thanks for the dollar. Welcome, 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 welcome. Favorite part of Mass Effect? What's your favorite part? Uh, what do you mean? Like, my favorite... Uh, I, I like... I, if you're, like, saying, like, overall, I really, like... The biggest thing for games, for me, is, like, a, a good story. Mass Effect does a particularly good job with character development because your decisions and your character from game one can go through the entire trilogy. So you have to play all of them. Like, um, you didn't like one much, yeah. But, the, yeah, I mean, the, the cool thing is, is, like, you know... That's why, like, at the end of Mass Effect 3, like, it was so fulfilling to complete the series because it's, like, like all these characters that you see, you know, it's all tied together in, across three games, across, like, easily, like, 50, I, I mean, at least 100 hours of gameplay over across the three. So, um, and, and this replayability, uh, just, like, such a fantastic series. Good story and characters, yeah. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No. What's up, Deadpool? And that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other Ooh. species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Ooh, I want to see other species. I want, I want other races. That's exciting. I want, I want, I hope they make it. Okay. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. Uh, Rusty, are, uh, am I, do you have any other streams open, Rusty? Like DJs or bloodies or something? Cause, uh, yeah, if you're, if we're hosted somewhere else and you have that stream open, you might hear me twice. Oh, Tribbles. You're two kinds. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion, okay. Power draw is now at 100%. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. 
My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. Mutiny? But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. I really like the, uh, the... Hey, no problem, Deadpool. I mean, I appreciate the thought, regardless. Like, you don't have to sub, though. Um... I really like the skin complexions. Like, they, they look really good. Like... It's not just, like, a shade of white, you know, or different shades of paleness and darkness. Like, it's like... You know, it's just like, it feels more natural. Like, the little, like, freckles. And, like, you can even, like, see, like, pores. Like, it, just, it looks really good. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. No, 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 I, I'm fine. And I don't, I don't know, it, it just blew up. Find out why. Be careful. Whoa, what the heck is this? Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. <laughs> Your character looks odd. You look odd. Westworld. <laughs> you think so, Tynes? Uh, my two. We're playing on PC. Hey, what's up, Dan? How are you today? Viable planets capable of supporting life are key to our survival in Andromeda. The viability of a world is affected by several factors, including temperature, resources, threat levels, political stability, and so on. We have few viable planets currently within range. Resource levels are considered at risk. <laughs> hey, what's up, Cookie? How you doing? Good to see you. You want to play some Battlegrounds, Cookie? What time is it? We'll probably switch over in, like, a little bit. A little bit soon. Soon. Hard to pull away. You are Employee Rider. Salary code 19B. Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for <laughs> paid vacation time in 587 days. Wow. Seriously? Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? <laughs> Burke Black, thank you so much for the host. If you're lurking at Burke's stream, uh, we actually just started Andromeda, so we're, uh, we're really like in the beginning. Got myself some cookie dough ice cream. Nice cookie. Make sure to eat that before we play. I don't want you, you know, potatoing me because you're eating ice cream. For initiative strategy and Pathfinder coordination, please see Director Jaron Tan. For colonial affairs or outpost status, please see Director Foster Addison. For station maintenance, please contact Superintendent Nakmore Kesh. For militia operations or Apex deployment, please see Tiran Kandros. Integration from the Hyperion is ongoing. Personnel are still restricted to operations. The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates, or Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. 
Even at a distance, studying the light from stars can reveal much about their planet's composition and atmosphere. Seven worlds, nicknamed Habitats, have the life-supporting environments and resources we need to start our new lives Question. in Andromeda. Helios Cluster? Was there not a Helios Cluster in um, the other galaxy? Pretty sure there was, right? Like, why would they re why, why, why would they reuse the name? Parkour. Already checked the consoles down here, right? Boom. What's this? Room one. Let's check out room one. Hello, room one. How's everybody doing? Whoa. There's a guy in there. Why is he in there? Can we ask? Weapons and stuff. I got you covered. Use the console to take a look through what I got. It'd be a lot easier if I weren't missing half my stock. Okay, DJ. But it sucks because I, I can't go to your stream, DJ. What's with these prices? Ouch. Why am I paying for these? Half the supplies are inaccessible, what with how we crash landed and all. And I have to trade with the crooks out there for the rest, so... Wow. That's a lot going on here. All right, my items. Vendor items. Oh, Jesus. There was no, uh, there was no Helios, really? What's up, Mush Miser? Okay, please no mod wall. Guys, chat, loonies, um, no mod wall. Please no mod wall. Sell all salvage. I mean, yeah, why not, right? Ultra rare shotgun. How much money do I have? I have 100 credits. <laughs> Now I have 1,600 credits. Better, but uh, we're still po poor. Poor. Can we ask why there's a guy in prisons? Can we talk to him? No? Okay. Well, that guy looks distressed. No mod ball. No mod ball. Oh my god. The mods are OP. Seriously? Okay, we're gonna just, okay, okay, this is, this is, this is, this is, okay, okay, I can't even click on their names, it's going too fast! Oh my god, oh my god, seriously? Alright, there we go. That's, that's just ridiculous. I just got my Incrustables Night's Glock. The mods have been banned. What's up, burned nuggets? Man, if you burn chicken nuggets, that's that's kind of like a tough thing to do. Like, if you uh, like, what are you doing wrong? What, what? Where does your name come from? I have to ask. What? Where? How? What inspired your name, burned nuggets? Did you? Were you? Did you have like burned chicken nuggets, and you're like, you were so distraught, you're like, I'm never gonna forget this moment. I want everybody to hear my my story of the time that my nuggets burned. <laughs> TJ. Uh, damage control. Wow. Let's see. Oh, oh, this is about the mutiny. Okay, this is actually good to know. What's up, Chris? Uh, it means DJ loves the words, so we try to... Randomly, oh, randomly generated by Xbox? Oh, gosh. Nice. Um, yeah, DJ really loves the word. DJ Tech Live, so. Okay, so here we go. As you're aware, there was a mutiny aboard the Nexus during your absence. Events escalated quickly, but we believe it began with a fire in hydroponics and theft in the armory. Motivations for the uprising vary. Mob mentality was certainly a factor, but for the leaders, including your predecessor, predecessor, former security director Sloan Kelly, it was a conscious betrayal. There have been a perfunct there have been perfunctory attempts to catalog and address the damages caused by Sloan's people during the uprising. Supplies stolen, equipment broken, things of that nature. But I was hoping the militia could take a step in and draw an official report. It's imperative we know what we're working with if we're gonna survive. Director Tan. 
Director Tan, I need my people focused on defending the station, not taking inventory. If you really need militia oversight, I'll get Sergeant Nels to look at it. Oh, I love that it said, when that happens. It was my understanding that exiles were more Calyx's people than Sloan's. Isn't he the one who started the mutiny? Candros. Calyx Carvanus may have certainly started it, but Sloan made her allegiances clear. I know she held you in high regard, but I hope you can be impartial when it comes to the task. Director Tan. Sloan Kelly's not who I thought she was. There won't be a problem. Candros. What's up, DK Chewy? Welcome to the stream. Good. Then you won't object to s sending a small and discreet reconnaissance team to find out where Sloan and the exiles might have gone? When we do get colonial efforts up and running, I don't want any surprises. Forwarding report from Recon Team 232. Trail's cold. Found what looked like abandoned camps in the Pfeiffer system, but none with living inhab inhabitants, only graveyards. A conspirator, Arida, was among the dead, but not Sloan Kelly. Okay, so that was good, because we kind of wanted some background on that. Not like going to rush you, but there's a ship waiting for his captain. Slicer, please! We gotta explore everything! <laughs> Oh, hey, free stuff. Um, Skomar, are you getting around the ban? You cheater. One other from a space dan. Uh, what's up, Loco? I did nothing. You're banned from talking to Loco for, for 20, five, 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 five more seconds, Kappa. Oh, I, I'm not sure why that is. Must be a bug. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, DJ. But the planet was toxic. What if they store oxygen in porous tissue, like Quiro's rockfish? I still reckon they had breather gear stowed in that armor. Perhaps both. Life is infinitely adaptable. Can I talk? You must be the Pathfinder. Wonderful. You and your Sam are exactly what we need. Thanks, Mr... Professor Herrick. My colleagues and I will work with your Sam and the data you gather to solve Andromeda's scientific mysteries. I'm usually out in the field, but I wouldn't mind talking shop, or lab, you know. You are always welcome. Not that we've had much to study, with everyone cooped up for 14 months. But your data on the Scourge flows like poetry. Now we can better advise on repairing the damage it caused. And maybe Addison will give us a real workspace. Who can think with all this racket? Pathfinder, we've had some trouble. Anything I can help with? Perhaps. I discharged an away team to get readings from a section of the Scourge that was behaving anomalously. They haven't reported in for some time, and sensors can't locate their shuttle. I sent them out there. Good, dedicated people. I fear what might have happened to them. Don't give up hope. When I'm out there, I'll see if I can find them. Their friends and family will want to know what's happened. And I... I need to know. Find the missing science vessel. Hi, Pathfinder. Wanna hit some rocks for science? Absolutely. What do you need? Sam and I used your scans and made a VI for geophysics surveys. Beta builds on the console there. Test it out in the field, and I'll wrangle you a consultant's bonus from Director Addison. How's that sound? Uh, what's up, Anultium? Esalen has terrible posture. I'm happy you're reading everything because unlike Ma the other Mass Effect, there are definite hints in the notes of these journals as you travel the galaxy, depending on what kind of death you want to explore the game. Oh, interesting. Yeah, cool, okay. <laughs> Cookie, please. I am not new here, but I am about to leave for vacation. Would it be possible to have a semi-bloody mod sword to take with me for protection? Um, I don't know, Skomar. I mean, I think you've, you've, your sword kind of, uh has gotten blunt from the overuse lately, so I don't know if I can get you a new one or, a sh or sharpen yours, I'm sorry. Geophysics beta build. You're a beta. 
You're all betas. Oh, that's cool, Slicer. 